Right now we're facing a crisis of international proportion. It's a healthcare crisis, but it's also an economic crisis. It's going to have long-term impact for us. And we're going to see that the biggest impact is actually going to be acceleration of inequality. The systematic way that we have been built is not holding up. The foundation is cracking. Our duties remain the same. The fact that we should not leave anybody behind again. Many organizations have seen what the impact is of a sudden crisis and how we're able to better navigate this crisis today with the help of technology. And that means the reskilling and upskilling of your own workforce. Jobs of tomorrow are technologically enabled, but also extremely inhuman centered. It's in the ability to work with technology easily. On the other hand, with this new way of working and especially remote work, we see that there is a huge need of emotional intelligence. We have really to invest a lot in people to guarantee their jobs, but also to allow them the mobility they need on an ever-changing uh, labor market. Eight out of 10 of the young people who are in low and middle income countries are going to have to be entrepreneurs. They're going to have to make jobs for themselves. Having creative curriculums and teaching creativity is enabling your learners to have transferable skills, resilience, mastery, collaboration, asking questions, why, how, when. This is what they need in order to thrive in any profession which they choose. The moment you incorporate marginalized segments of society, it changes the product offering, it changes the way that we think about supply chains. When you cater to the margins, the positive externalities in economic terms are pretty enormous. It is critical that leadership understand that the burden of responsibility of driving change starts at the top of the organization so that corporations can give back to the communities, make them more resilient as we deal with these issues around both economic and racial inequality. We need men and women leading the recovery because there is no way we can ever think that a world that is led by men is a world that is good for everybody. Now is the moment that we can think about how we use that possibility, the new ideas, the new technology, the new wealth, to really create social systems in which we can all flourish. We have the greatest brains, talent, resources in the world. There's no reason that we can't, and no excuses that it's too hard or too complicated.